What's up, Geeks and Gamers? My name is Draymond, and welcome to Thorium Gaming, and it's time to hop back into the old world and deal with a little bit of Blood and Jade. Yeah, it's a two for this week because, well, we finished Tiny Tina's Adventures in the Wonderlands, for the most part. There's some random stuff that we could do, and they might pop up on the channel later on as I play with Chaplin and Dave and all them, so we'll see how it goes. But for right now, for the immediate future, we're going to be looking back at the old world. So Feng Ma, I amazingly remembered, is still chasing down Shan Liang. But what we were going to do when we started off this week was attack Ming Zhu. So let's grab Miao Ying. A great crusade. And hopefully there's not a huge Clan Eshin stronghold there. So the Imperial Wardens will join us. And now we are at war with Clan Eshin. But we're going to encircle them. Because the battle that we can have up front here is a little bit better. <sighs> that is not even worth fighting. Like Fight as one. Yeah, yeah, let's get experience. So she, Jia Hao, got the armor of silver and steel and took care of the enemy reinforcements. Uh, mechanic gear, mechanic gear, Cancred? is inside the city. They don't have a very big garrison, do they? No, uh, just a few clan rats. Nothing overtly major. Uh, Jin Gong Ye, that's one of our caravan masters. Uh, he doesn't have Will of the Dragons yet. So let's grab that while we're thinking about it. It's near blood ground, huh? And we can upgrade Shan Yang. So that was the whole point down here. Get our Western Bastions all set up. Be really, really nice. And we are still one point into Yang, and I believe getting Astromatic Choir there. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to balance it out over here at some point. That can be done later. We can sing, see what no, Ming Zhu gives us. So I think the worst thing that's available for the enemy forces in here are those dang slingers. Uh, maybe the night runners. But we can outshoot this army incredibly well. It's a decisive victory as it stands right now. I think we're going to fight it though. We haven't actually engaged the Skaven in this Let's Play yet openly, so we'll throw down and see how it works out for us. Skaven cities kind of suck, though. All the Undercities are... well... less than ideal. So while we're trying to take over the southern area here, our reinforcements will come in from behind and we can start moving them through and just straight up shoot the entire enemy army to bits and call it done. Pretty much how we're going to have to do it. Advance very, very, very slowly with our archers doing most of the work. And then when our reinforcements arrive, we can maybe do a slide in from the rear. Catch some of the Skaven slaves and clan rats without shields out in the open. And just chew them up. Be a little nice to do. Well, not nice for the Skaven, that's for sure. But the bulk of their troops are Skaven Slaves, so they're going to break really easily. They're not going to cause any routing issues on that front. If we can knock out the Clan Rats, that would be better. Okay, so we're on this side. This is where our reinforcements are going to come in. On this side... Yeah, I think we're going to have to readjust to get our troops over here. Simply because we want to have our troops in a better position to fight this out. We'll let our reinforcements come in from the rear and oh, the I didn't want to do that. Ready to defend. There we go. Let's see if channeling does anything for us. It definitely did not. So let's advance our infantry up a little bit. 
our archers up a little bit. Meow Ying can go up here, and uh, Juzu can go over there. You will see your families again. This the Storm Dragon swears to you. If we cast that on the rear of this front Skaven Slave unit. And as soon as Miao Ying can go full dragon, she's going to be going after towers on this map. While Juzu kind of takes care of enemy infantry. She's already got a couple of good hits in. All right, Meow Yang, go destroy that tower. Wind and fire, peasant archers. With joy, spears guided by ancestors. Set up to try and eke as much range as we can out of this. Defenders of Cathay. Shaper of steel. Be nice when our reinforcements arrive. They shouldn't be taking too much longer. Jade warriors, order and balance. Move in formation. Just advance our archers up a little bit. Marching get some more range one. out of them. How's that tower looking? Tower's almost down. Acolyte of secrets. If we cast the hounds, we're building another tower over here. And it looks like uh, Xi Jia Hao is showing up with all of her troops. So the Skaven are going to have to 180 here in a minute. And we're going to have to deal with getting her troops into position. She has cannons. So let's just pause it real quick. I'm pretty sure all she has is the Spearman. So let's set up the third unit right here. Fourth unit can go right behind them because it's all of our archers. She herself can go in the center. And let's get those cannons into a beautiful place to start shooting. Let's see if we can nail some more of those clan rats spell. Right now, the enemy is suffering a lot of losses from all of our archers. That's kind of what we want. This battle might take a little while, not because the enemy is tough, because there's just a lot of them. I'd much rather it being Feng Ma right here, but... Unfortunately, Feng is dealing with things on the other side of Cathay. But our starting battle against the rats is going pretty well. Archers. Seeking cafes full. I almost feel bad for the clan rats that are dying and the Skaven slaves, because they don't really have a choice in this, but... One. They're also part of the forces of disorder, so I'm not too, too worried. Maybe a little bit of jumping back and forth between the two armies as they come in and fight, though. This Cave and Slave is just going to get pin cushioned as they try to shoot up. My elixirs are ready. Let's see if we can launch the hounds into another unit of Skaven Slaves. The more they keep trying to run through here, the better off we're going to be. I 
just need Meow Yang to get up into the air. So we can cast some heals on herself. She can come back slightly. Master of the wind. We're gonna take a bit of a risk. With infinite pride. And try to get our troops up here. Our cannons lined up there. Because I'm pretty sure all the Skaven over here are kind of just done when it comes to all of this. They're still trickling a little bit of power in, but not a whole lot. See if we can reduce them a little bit more on this flank while our secondary force enters the city. Fire in the blood. And we can get seven winds of magic saved up. We'll be able to cast a wall of fire and wind, or wind and fire as whatever the uh, actual vernacular is for it. Archers are starting to use up a little bit of their ammunition. I mean, our Jade Warrior crossbowmen are down to, like, a third. So I think... It's time to get our troops moving in. Let's take... These soldiers here. Try to go that way. These ones here can come down here. Let's see if we can get our archers in position. They're not very big clusters. Send them in. Oh, there's another tower. I'm gonna get Miao Yang over there to deal with it. Another tower set up there. If we do this right, it should go right through that spear unit. Looks like it's hitting those Skaven Slave Spears. Them. Even the clan rats are kind of getting toasted. Use a little bit of the Shogun Gun magic. Are they seriously charging our veteran soldiers? That doesn't seem very wise. Advance these troops up just a little bit. We should be able to get our cannons up here. Marching as one. Warrior crossbow. Once the cannons are in place, that should cause a fair bit of damage to the clan rats and scaven slaves that are up here. This should rip through two units. Oh, that did a bunch of damage. Jade warriors. Let's see if they can advance up there. Wait on the Winds of Magic and heal Miao Ying up a little bit. Stone and 
Please tell me you cannons are going to start firing here pretty quick. I faced the right direction. Mines as one. Crossbowmen. Sent by dragons. Repositioning. It's all a matter of getting them in just the right position. Like I said, Black Powder units and me don't really mix well. I'm going to heal Miao Ying before I forget. Let's get all of our troops lined up into a good position. We've captured some of their supply points too, so that's not a bad thing. Born of dragons to battle. Wind and fire. Let's see if we can get those slingers to back off a little bit. Warriors. Throw some jade armor up. Definitely won't hurt us. And there is a lot of rats right there. Looks like our cannons still aren't firing. Ah, uh, black powder units. Gotta love them. Okay, a lot of our losses are coming from that plague caster. And there we go. And that battle. Keep it as a decisive victory. Our first true encounter with the Skaven. 76 losses to over 2100. Ooh, um, yeah, I gotta divide that. 21, 4, 53? I mean, 76 is, yeah, that's 28 to 1. Every one of our soldiers killed 28 of theirs. So, yeah. Our archers really brought in the, the wrath on that one. Oh, we even have one unit of peasants archers get over 100 kills. And we got the Helm of Discord, so that's good. And we're going to occupy that city because it's part of our area. Shogun Gun Lord reporting. And ancillaries are good. But you have some skills that you can get. Uh, the Wall of Wind and Fire we could upgrade, or we could get Jade Shield upgraded. Ah, we're gonna have to go with Wall of Wind and Fire because it's just too good. The storm. And Miao Ying got a level, so that's a definite bonus to us. So close to Eye of the Storm. Um, uh, let's go with Persistent Fire this time and then Imposing Range on the, the next one. Juzu leveled up and can get Arcane Conduit. And that is what we've been waiting for with her for a the while. Storm Dragon. I have no idea what it, that's a, uh, what's happening at Kunlan, but the city of the Shugengun is next on the overall list of things that we have to take, so we might send Power Shi down the there. Nangao can be upgraded. We can get Fire Rain Rockets. You know what? Let's get that upgrade started while we're waiting. And we still have one balance for Yang. We didn't pick up any structural buildings here. I think she had a cavalry place. Yeah, we'll destroy it for now. Because those have to go in the main buildings. Because we're destroying the dormitory there, but that's fine. So let's see how the turn goes. Ano the Vomitus. Know this. I have plotted you. And Grimgor declared war on us. So now we're gonna have to deal with the orcs from the mountains of Morn as well. 
And apparently Grimgore is being a right royal pain in the rump. <sighs> Gotta love it when that happens. Imperial Gardens? Guardians are bringing an army down this way? Well, that's different. I'm hoping that we can actually intercept them. So, Fengma, are you able to? Oh, are you going to be just out of range? Oh, so close. So very close. But now we've got so many different rat armies, but they're all Skaven slaves. So they're doing kind of the swarm tactics. To serve me is a privilege. I kind of want to get some Sky Lanterns. Let's check our buildings first before I go completely hog wild with it. Uh, we can get a city upgrade just barely. Storm Dragon. Alright, Miao Ying. Where can you go and set up an ambush stance? A silent there and is it an 80% chance? 80% chance of an ambush. It's only 45, it's 80 there. Can we make it there? We must become shadows. Let's see. Let's see how it works. Oh, this could be tight. We have been ambushing a lot in this campaign, which is good. Kind of suits Cathay's armies overall. A decisive defeat. Wow, they all decided to come down here. Well, that's not cool. Maybe it'll be of some use. We got an ogre hunter. A celestial cuisine. Ogre man eater long in Cathay's employ. Finally journeys back to his homeland where he shares the spoils of his distant exploits. Uh, particularly popular is a dish named Five Spiced Monkey Brains. Though in truth, it's minced and marinated pork. His tribe would almost do anything for another taste. Yeah, so we got some good things there. Celestial and there is so many Skaven slaves here. I don't see Snicked, though, which is good and bad. So let's bring Fengma in range of Xi, and they can fight together. Well, Miao Ying. We'll lay siege here and retreat if we have to, but that's just to draw some of their armies back. Wei Jin, we cannot afford the Paradise Gardens just yet. It's going to be kind of our next thing. We're not going to do anything with Ming Zhao just yet. Oh, we are all over the place, but we are in perfect balance now, which is good. So now we got to see what the rats are going to do. This is why I hate the Skaven overall. They pop up all these little armies. Well, they're not little. They're massive armies, but they're just Skaven slaves. Tons and tons and tons of Skaven slaves. And that is what we wanted, was their armies to come back here. I rarely permit such. Because if we get lucky and are able to move our forces up a little bit. I don't know where those Norsemen are going to go. Oh, we're going to draw our weapons. It's a close victory this time. By the way, not really doing the ones in the mountains as much. Not really worth our time. 
Okay, the Kurgan are coming in. It's not where our outpost is, is it? No, Turtle Gate's where our outpost is. Windshaper. Alright. Even with Yeah, even with that stance we cannot get any closer. So we'll put G there the and see if we can get them both into a fight over here. I want to kill this Norse army. Dismantle them. I stand apart. Footsteps in harmony. And if we go into ambush stance Mask here, it's an 80% chance. I'm hoping that their armies will come back down here. We can maybe swing Miao Xing around, or Miao Ying, around. Uh, Sun Guo just got a level. Give him Tactician for now. An upper hand, indeed. And Wei Jin, we can't afford the Paradise Gardens, but they're gonna bump us into the other... It's gonna take four turns to build that, and one turn to build this, so we'll just wait on it. Now hopefully our allies can handle the Dragon Gate being attacked. Because we are trying to deal with the Skaven. Oh, it's going to be tough to deal with the Skaven. Yeah, we'll take a trade agreement with you. A little bit extra gold per turn is not going to hurt us. Wondering though if our efforts against Eshin are going to be able to allow us to favored daughter. Yes. Okay, please tell me she can get there. She can. The dragon blooded. Descended from celestial glory. The path of destiny. And there was a settlement that was besieged. Diamonds. How did village get in here? I'm the puppet master, not you. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. All right, so we're gonna have to go with peasant levy edict. We must remain superior. I hate that Zinch can just bounce right over our walls. Or we're just building the paradise gardens. It's not fair. Ugh. All right, well we'll see how it goes. I mean, if we have to retake the city and start all over over there, we'll be good, but... <sighs> Decisive victory against all those armies. Make yeah, we'll take it. Wow, our archers did a lot of damage. We'll we venerate. So Miao Yang's going to go reinforce our city, and these two can go up and take Kunlan. How did they get more health back? We're gonna have to fight this one because I'd rather not lose this city. I gotta love it when everything goes to hell in a handbasket, right? They have a lot of archery units. But depending on how they set up, we might be able to set up enough towers to see them off. Using our archers effectively with peasants and the jade warriors to kind of hold the key points. I don't know, defending the minor settlements has become kind of iffy over time.
Oh, well, it's just something we're going to have to deal with and fight through, hopefully. But a whole bunch of Skaven are off the map now, so that's less of an issue. Okay, are they actually all just set up over there? We got... Okay, they got some minor forces here. Warriors. We set up our Jade Warriors there. I want the walls. I want the nearest tower. I sworn there was a tower around here somewhere. Or is it just up here? So that's all their horsemen. Is there a tower down here? Doesn't really look like it. Order and balance! Wind and fire! Stone and steel! Well, we're gonna have to defend this weirdly, I guess. I don't really see any tower locations, but there should be. I remember there being towers all over the place in here. There's one. There's a tower location that we can build that'll help thin out their horsemen and everything. Let's take a unit of spearmen, put them up here just in case. There's no towers over here, is there? Whatever is required. Let's just speed it up a little bit. I mean, their forces are going to rush in through here, aren't they? Or perhaps not. Oh, there goes their barriers. And there's a tower, like, literally right here. As soon as we get the 500, it's going up. See if our immortal soldiers can kind of slow them down. Just need to tie them up for long enough for our tower to do a little bit of damage. Archers for the Emperor. That is a big cluster of horsemen. With any luck, we'll be able to hold them up with our spirit warriors for a while. Archers could just keep shooting, that would be great. Wonder if we can get the army loss penalty, that would be fantastic. That is a significant amount of their forces just dealt with. If we can just keep out shooting them, that'd be great. And just like that, they're seen off. A heroic victory. Nothing like the settlement garrison holding out.
Amazing what a few archers in a sig strategically significant place can do. Let's see how it works out overall, too. And we are just going to rest Let's because we're going to need money right now. That's just got Noblars in it. It's going to cost us our peasant archer. So he's not a good caravan master. So not too worried about it. Huh, an elderly but uncommonly shrewd ogre manny to request an audience. The bloated mercenary has traveled far and wide and has learned strategies of many great army in the process. His wandering days are done, and so instead he will share his knowledge with the highest bidder. Now nah, we'll go with feed the ogre. I don't really feel like paying money right now. So rat catcher, tea master. What? The lords that we had to retire once they became part of our force are gone. Move as one. Village is gonna be in for a bad day. Dragon blooded Shugunda. I think Ma's gonna advance up there. Never, no. And Ickbolt seems Lord like reporting. he's wanting to take a piece of us, but uh, he's not gonna be able to. Kinda want him to go into Kunlun before we fight. That would be perfect. Oh, we're so close to having Constellation of the Dragon, station. which is a huge spell. Celestial ancestors. And get you your missile resistance. Jade shield and strength of Yang. A gift from my ancestors. The dragons would approve. Uh, Shun Guo is gonna get better scales finally. Surely a gift from the dragons. That's a black orc big boss. What is this then? Just an orc war boss. Wow. Um, Yeti Peak and Titan's Notch both been taken by the Greenskins. Long may our understanding. Continue. For seven grand is what it would cost to get a defensive the alliance Empire. with them. Non aggression pact with the Empire? Oops. That's not what I wanted. I'm gonna go back into the diplomacy menu. I swear I can do this. Be at peace. And but military that is access. All I ever want. Oh, it would take 8,000. This action does not have my con be at peace. Well, that's yes. It. I should balance that for our favor. Um, Trixie. What? Yeah, we could do the same sort of thing with listen, Oslin. But my time is short. All right. I'm a scheme. Windshaker. Nothing really on the Last face. Gold tooth. Who are you at war with? Oh, you're actually allied with the Western you provinces. Yourself useful to the elderly maiden. So that's fine. Tyrant. The dragon blooded. Oh, the Jade Custodians. Ice for the dragon. I. Natural authority. Gaze upon the glory of the supreme and the ancestor. All right, so there's a little bit of diplomacy for us. Blacksmith. It's almost gonna do it for this week, though. Let's start upgrading our celestial observatory. We can get another alchemist and another astromancer. Now, what do we have in Fengma's army? Merit. We have an astromancer, so we need an alchemist there. The and we need an astromancer for Miao Ying. So, I'm gonna hire one of each. Violent, lettered, character experience gain, or harmonizer. Uh, let's go with Junju Jiang. Alchemist to go and join up with Feng Ma. Perhaps an elixir of tirelessness. And an astromancer. Yeah, we're gonna go with Hongshu Jia. Astromancer of the celestial to go to Miao Ying. There must be some respite. That'll work out there. Leave it on the Celestial Lake. The dragons love the and 
we can get uh, we can get harmonizer I think maybe now uh, we'll go with Shang Yu Yi for Xi's army and there's an upgrade available for our buildings which we can't really do right now Lots will come out in the next couple of turns. We're only one into Yang, so let's see how that works out. Outpost is available for the Jade Custodians. Uh, yeah, let's build it at the Bridge to Heavens. That looks like all she wrote for this turn. We'll let it play out one more time, just in case we have to fight at Wei Jin. Because those Twisted Twins are always going to be a giant pain in our butts. A decisive defeat. Oh, Gorbut's Arm Breaker. We can't even outshoot this, really. We'll have to fight it, and this will be it for the week. Let's see if we can pull this one out. Because we definitely can't just straight up outshoot this army. Might lose Shunguo's caravan which would suck <sighs> lots of setbacks as much as we pushed forward this week i mean tuesday was all about having fun and you know setting up Cathay for major major battles and the battles have come and they have not been nearly as easy as we thought they were going to be praise the dragon minds as what uh, let's try and limit our exposure to the enemy as much as we can we can put this crater on our flank. Praise the dragon. The quarry is mine. And we'll just let them come closer at high speed, cause yeah, we have no magic. No shogun gun in this army. No alchemists either. Just gotta toss out a lot of arrows. It's actually our first true battle with Grimgore's hard boys. The ultimate hunter, seeking advantage. Wind and fire. All right, now we just gotta deal with all the orcs. Peasant archers. Harmonious roar. See if we can shoot up their archers a little bit, weaken their army as a whole. Doubt it's gonna do much good, but still. Sound the retreat. All right, so it looks like a unit of our archers already got smacked in the rear. Retreat. Yeah, we're losing our caravan. That's kind of unfortunate, but... We can't necessarily control the routes that they take. But we went from a decisive defeat down to a close defeat. Yeah, we did kill more than they did. They killed half of our caravan, though.
Well, that kind of sucks just a little bit. Losing this a caravan. Smoke is poised to lend you. Uh, we're not joining a war against the Vampire Counts further into Cathay just yet. We've got to deal with Clan Eshin. I thought they were going to make that statement a moot point, but almost. Oh, we got <sighs> incursions. They've just straight up walked past the Great Bastion. Shugengun Lord reporting. Ick bolt. No. No. Deathmaster snicked. Ah. Well, it's going to be a tough time when we come to next week. We'll see how well we're able to hold out. It's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be fun. But if you liked the video, guys, please consider that like button. If you'd like to join up with the 232, join me in this or other Let's Plays, just hit that subscribe button. And make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss when a new video goes out. And remember, guys, life is a game, so play to win. And until next time, take care.